Good day, Junior Techies. I'm Mrs. Brummelcombe, and we are going to look at companies where the focus is now going to be on income tax. Now, before we start with the activity, it is very important to understand the following. Companies is regarded as a person, a legal entity, in the eyes of the law. So this means that a company needs to pay tax, and that is called company tax. Now, how does all of this work? Income tax is calculated on the net profit. Your income tax is an expense which will appear in the nominal account section, but it doesn't form part of your operating expenses. It is regarded as an appropriation of the profits and that is why it's closed off to your appropriation account. Now, during the accounting period, provisional tax payments need to make be made every six months. So when this happens, your bank account is going to be credited and account debited is SARS income tax. So we pay them up front. At the end of the accounting period, we will now calculate, but what is our income tax supposed to be for this accounting period? And now we're going to compare that with the provisional tax payments to see do we still owe SARS or does SARS owes us? So if we still owe SARS money, they are regarded as our creditor, which will appear in your trade and other payables under current liabilities. If they owe us because we've paid too much, they will now become our debtor. If they are our debtor, it will appear in your current assets under trade and other receivables. So this is why it is important to understand that your SARS income tax appears in the balance sheet, but it can either be an asset, a current asset, or a current liability. It all depends on what is the balance. If, it have, if we have a debit balance, it means that SARS owes us. If we have a credit balance, it means that we owe SARS. Looking at the bookkeeping process, the T accounts, make sure that you understand the following. If provisional tax payments is made to SARS, SARS income tax is debited, account credited, bank. Your assets will decrease and your liabilities will decrease. If we have an unfavorable bank balance, a bank overdraft, it means nothing will happen with your assets and now your liabilities will be plus. Why plus? Because our bank overdraft is going to increase if we paid from that account, if we paid money to SARS. If we look at, at the end of the counting period, what is payable to SARS, income tax is debited and SARS income tax is going to be credited. The effect on your accounting equation is owner's equity minus liabilities plus. So now once we've done that, we've calculated what we owe SARS, we've indicated our provisional tax payments, we can calculate our balance at the end of the accounting period to see does SARS owe us or do we owe SARS. Now, moving forward, it is very important to remember when you see in your pre-adjustment trial balance SARS income tax, that will always be the provisional tax payments that was made during the accounting period. Now, what is also very important to understand, because this can become quite complicated, is the different ways in calculating your income tax. One, they can simply say to you calculate based on the percentage given to you but now what makes it a little bit more complicated if i need to calculate the income tax and they provided you with the net profit before tax then it's easy because i'm going to say times 28 divided by 100 but as soon as they provide you with the net profit after tax i can't just take the amount and times it by 28 percent so what needs to happen your net profit before tax is always equal to 100%. Minus income tax, 28% equals 
equals the net profit of the tax, which will be 72%. So if I want to calculate the income tax, I'm now going to take 28 divided by 72. Now, another way they can provide you with the information to calculate income tax is by giving you the net profit after tax and the net profit before tax. Then I simply need to calculate the income tax by subtracting the two. But then they can also give you the following. They can provide you with the balances in the beginning and the balances at the end. And they provide you with the provisional tax payments made. So how do I solve income tax? This now becomes the balancing figure. So again, use the T accounts, fill in the information which you've got and find the missing information. We're going to look at an example later on. Calculating your tax paid in the current financial year. This is very important when we're doing cash flow statements. So we'll focus more in detail on this later on when we do cash flow statement, but just to introduce you so long to this, to calculate your tax paid for this accounting period. We're going to do exactly the same approach as I've been mentioning the whole time. You open up your SARS income tax. Fill in the information which you've got and find the missing information. Your unknown, your balancing figure will now become your bank. And that is the amount that will be in your cash flow statement that will appear in there as the income tax paid in this accounting period. Looking at activity four. We have to complete the SARS income tax and the income tax account. Now, in the information provided, the following opening balances appeared in the ledger of AR Limited on the 1st of July 2020. So this is in the beginning of the accounting period. So we're going to start with our opening balance, SARS income tax. It says credit. So on the credit side, balance brought down 4,800. This means that this is a liability we owe SARS. So looking at the first transaction, amount owing to SARS the previous year was paid on 30 July 2020. So whatever we owed from last year, we've paid that now. So when this happens, bank will be credited, SARS income tax is debited with 4,800. They don't need to tell you the amount. You should know that will be the opening balance. Transaction two, the first provisional tax payment of 60,000 were paid on 31 December. Again, bank is credited, SARS income tax is debited. So this is the first provisional tax payment. The third transaction, a second provisional tax payment of 65,000 was made on 30 June 2021. Again, bank is credited, SARS income tax is debited. The last transaction, the audited financial statement showed a taxable profit of 475,200. The tax rate is 28%. So this is a straightforward calculation. The income tax is going to be calculated by simply taking 475,200 times 28%. To show this transaction, account debited income tax, account credited SARS income tax with 133,056. So now we need to calculate if we still owe SARS or if SARS owes us. So there's different ways to approach this. If I look at the total payments made this year, provisional tax payments, is 60,000 plus 65,000. If I add that together, it means that we've paid 125,000, but our income tax payable this year is 133,056. So this is clear that we still owe SARS money. And that's how I can quickly determine do I need to add the debit side first or the credit side. Alternatively, you can just balance the account. So now we can balance 
If I add the credit side and I minus the debit side, we still owe SAS 8056 At the end of the accounting period, my income tax is closed off to the appropriation account. To show the effect on the accounting equation for the provisional tax payment, account debited, SAS income tax, account credited bank assets minus 60,000, liabilities minus 60,000. To show the income tax expense for this year, account debited, income tax, account credited, SAS income tax, owner's equity minus, liabilities plus. Third question, what amount would be shown in the balance sheet for SAS income tax on 30 June 2021? indicate if this will be shown as a current asset or current liability. So if I go and have a look at the SARS income tax, we owe SARS 8056. So this will appear in your trade and other payables as a current liability. To find out question four, the total outflow of cash for income tax paid in the current financial year. Again, there's different ways in which I can approach it. So one, I can take the balance in the beginning, 4,800 plus the income tax, 133,056 minus the balance carried down on the debit side, 8,056. This is one of the methods that we can use later on when we're doing cash flow statement. Alternatively, we can just look at the SARS income tax, tax and add all the totals for bank, 4,800 plus 60,000 plus 65,000. And that will give you exactly the same answer. Now, I wanna add the following illustration example because this is applicable to the next activity with regards to SARS income tax in your worksheet. If I provide you with exactly the same information, but now I say to you the last point. The audited financial statement shows a taxable profit, so that stays the same. But now I say AR Limited owed SARS 8056 income tax must be brought into account. So this is what I spoke about earlier. Fill in the information which you've got find the missing information. So we're going to start by filling in the opening balance on the credit side, minus whatever we owed last year, we paid this year, minus the provisional tax payment. So now they said to us, we owe SARS 8,056. Balance brought down means balance carried down. You should know that income tax will always appear on the credit side of the SARS income tax account. So if I take the debit side minus the credit side, your income tax for this year is 133,056. So this is an illustration of how I would calculate the income tax if they've given you the provisional tax payments, the opening balance and the closing balance. Again, take note, activity 5 in your worksheet is similar to this illustration. Thank you very much. In our next video, we are going to focus on audit fees. I want to leave you with the following quote. The best preparation for tomorrow is to do today's work superbly well. I hope you have a wonderful day.